One of the really cool things about TuneTrack Superior Drummer plugin is that you can use multiple outputs from the plugin to mix the drums in the plugin uh, separately as if you were miking each one in a real studio. So I'm going to show you guys how you can utilize the multi-out function uh, here in Logic Pro 9. So in Logic, of course, I have a session opened, and I'm going to go ahead and make a new track. I'll click on the new track icon, and I'm going to make a software instrument, and I'm just going to make one. I'll go ahead and hit Create. And so now I've got my new software instrument track. I'm going to click on the input output section, go down to AU Instruments, and I'm going to go to Superior Drummer, and I'm going to select Multi Output 16 times Stereo. So I'm doing that instead of a normal stereo output. This is going to tell the plugin that I want it to act as a multiple output instance of Superior Drummer. So now I need to make a change in Superior. I'm going to jump into the mixer. And in the mixer, I'm going to take a look at the output section of the channel strips. You'll notice each one right now is set to out one, two. If I click on that and I scroll down, I can select multi-channel. So now that I've selected multi-channel, these channel strips, their outputs go sequentially upwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So what this has done is set the plugin into true multi-output mode. This means that for each of these sections, each, each drum is going to be sent out on a different virtual mic, kick drum, snare drum, snare drum bottom, hi-hat, etc., etc. So now that I've done that, I need to tell Logic that it needs to accept input from these new virtual outputs that I've created. So I'm going to take a look at the instrument track that Superior is on, and you'll see under the solo button, I have this plus sign button. And if I click on this, this is going to create new auxiliary inputs out of this instrument track. And these will receive input from the virtual outputs on the instrument track. So I've got six virtual outs in Superior, so I'm going to make six virtual aux ins right here. So now that I've done that, if I open up the interface to Superior Drummer by double-clicking in the I.O. section, if I take a look at the construct window and I play an instrument and I'm going to mute, let's say, everything but the kick drum. The kick drum right now, for, uh, for the purposes of where the mixer is set in Superior, is going to come out of the instrument one track. So if I solo just that, I'll hear the kick drum. Now because of the bleed settings I have set in the virtual mixer and superior drummer, I'll also hear a little bit of some of the other drums like the snare. But primarily I'll hear the kick drum. Now if I go in and I solo just my snare channel, which is auxiliary one, which is out three, four, remember, in the virtual mixer here in superior drummer, if I solo just the snare, I'll hear just the snare. You notice I don't hear the other drums right there. So that means that for each instrument that I play in Superior Drummer, it's going to be fed out into a different auxiliary input here in Logic. And the great thing about this is that this allows me to add all of my own inserts and other effects onto each of these instruments separately, so I can mix each one separately as if I were actually miking it in my studio. I hope that you guys find this useful, and as always, if you have any questions, get in touch with me at brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. Until next tutorial, take care.